I have the privilege of working with Emmanuel's middle school and high school students. This summer, we took 15 volunteers and 60 students to Life Fest, a Christian music festival in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Many of Emmanuel's families have been going there for years, and last year we decided there was time for our students to experience this awesome three-day event. If you have ever taken your family camping, you know that there is a lot of stuff you need to bring. Now, imagine how much stuff it would take to pack for 75 people to go camping. Making this trip happen requires an immense amount of time, money, resources, and volunteers. Nate and I could never have done it on our own. We are incredibly grateful for the team that we have. People helped to pack bins and coolers before the trip. A couple of families helped set up our campsite the night before students arrived. Some parents gave up their weekend to organize and prepare all our meals, and a few generous donors of money and supplies kept the cost of the trip low. We truly mean it when we say we could not do what we do without them. During the weekend, we saw God moved in the lives of our students in amazing ways. Multiple students recommitted their lives to Christ. Countless conversations were had between students and leaders about all the ways that God is working in their lives and the things that they are currently struggling with. We watched students dig into the Bible, participate in worship in a new way, make new friends and deepen existing ones. A couple of them even heard and understood for the very first time that Jesus loves them unconditionally. On the last night of Life Fest, I was sitting at our campsite and a student came up to me in tears. She explained that when she was at one of our events, she felt safe and loved, that she always knew she was wanted there and that she belonged. The thought of going home was completely overwhelming to her. We talked about how even when her home life is crazy, God is always there for her that there are people at Emmanuel who love her so deeply and that she can reach out to them at any time. One of my main goals in our middle school and high school ministries is that students feel seen, known, and loved, first by God and then by our leaders, that they know that they are needed and wanted in our environments. We cannot create these environments at Emmanuel without the commitment to sacrificial giving that so many of you have made. Our staff and volunteers are able to love and care for others so well because God continually uses your generosity to change lives, just as he did this month at Life Fest. On behalf of our students and volunteers, thank you.